my name is Denise McCabe and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia on the New South Wales Central Coast and this is my Makeup Monday for this week. Today I'm going to play with the um, Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. Um, there's a whole sweet collection um, in, this, in this collection <laughs> but I've just got the paper so I uh, thought I'd do a fun fold card with it. Um, so I shall flip over to my craft desk and we can get started. Okay, so this is called a Diagonal Joy Fun Fold card. So that's the diagonal, obviously. And I've used the daisy paper on this one. And I also used the Irresistible Blooms stamp set. And I think it's called the Painted Posies Embossing Folder, which I have forgotten to get out, so I must reach over and get that out and the stylish shape dies so this is the moody mauve the new in color i finally got my in colors <laughs> so this is moody mauve <clears throat> cardstock and ink and gems and ribbon and it goes it's one of the colors in the daisy fresh as a daisy paper <clears throat> and i'll probably use in this card we're going to make today the circle sayings i really like this one so let's just have a look at the Fresh as a daisy, sweet. Get rid of that. So it's on page 110, 111 in a new annual catalogue. <clears throat> so this is the whole sweet collection. So there's a stamp set, photopolymer stamp set, and dies, the designer series paper, and the adhesive back solid gem. So that's the whole sweet collection. You can get all that with one item code, or you can buy them individually if you buy the stamp set and dies buy it as a bundle because you get 10% off now I've only got the DSP um, I think I've got the gems coming <laughs> but so far I've only got the designer series paper um, I was umming and ahhing about the stamp set and I really like it but I wanted something else a couple of other sets first so I, I went with the other sets first and just got the paper so that's the suite let's just so this is the paper I've cut into it a bit um, let me pull out I'll pull out six of the pages and then you know that you get double that two of each well, that's four let's pull those four out if we can and what else is there Oh, there's that one. I think I've cut into, yeah, this is the one I've cut into twice. So this is the paper. So let's have a little look. So you get two of each sheet. And this one's really interesting because you can cut it up and use it for card fronts. So it's easy to cut there. And then I cut down there. And then I cut along there and then cut these ones off individually. So I've used that as a card front. I've used that one as a card front. And I've also used that one as a card front. So that's that one. That's another one. This is the one I use for my Joy Fold card. It's really pretty. I do like the Moody Mauve colour. This one's really nice. I've seen a lot of people using that up and getting six cards out of it. Um... I wish they'd done this that far up and then reversed it and that far up then it's easy to get your cards out of one sheet of paper but that's okay we can work with it <laughs> this is the one I've chosen to do this joy fold card with today and that's another one so they're all the, the flower sides and on the back we've got pretty much I think all the in colors you know that I don't know if that's boho blue or azure afternoon that would be pebble park this one would be cajun craze or copper clay this one would be wild wheat this one would be pretty peacock and garden green i think maybe no pretty peacock and hmm not sure Not sure what colours that are. That is, and that's Moody Mauve, of course. 
so the backs are all very <clears throat> plain and great for sort of you know complementing the fronts of the, the card of the paper so that's the designer series paper <clears throat> and if you don't know on the back of stamping up designer series paper it always lists all the colors that they've used in the paper so that's always a good handy reference so i will try and slip that back in there but maybe not right now <laughs> although if i don't do it now it'll end up on the floor there we go that should do it yay okay so let's get a folder in am i straight i think i'm straight there we go okay so this is our joy fold card so i wanted to show you what you need you need half a piece of a4 now i've designed this I've made a few adjustments to the measurements from um, a Canadian demonstrator and just so we can get two cards out of one A4. So you're going to cut your A4 card stock lengthways in half at 10.5 centimetres. So put that one aside for another card. Then you're going to score it at 14.8, 14.9 centimetres. And then you're going to put the front card front at the top scoring point and the bottom right corner you're going to line that up in your track on your trimmer like so just make sure we're recording yes like so and you're going to cut diagonally I know it's scary but we can do this <laughs> and that's what you're going to end up with so that's the only cutting that's needed for today for me because I've pre-cut everything else. So that's our card base. You'll also need another piece of cardstock and I've just matched it with my cardstock and that's 10.5 centimeters by 7.8 and it's scored at, let me just look, it's scored at, um, 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 um in half <laughs> so let me just get my ruler I haven't written down where I scored it in centimeters so there we go it's scored at 8.9 centimeters okay I'll just make a note of that score at 8.9 centimeters <coughs> okay then you're going to need two pieces of designer series paper these are the same and for this card I turned it over and used the back I think I will do that again because it's contrasting so two pieces of DSP 14.4 by 10 centimeters and let me just find you on my screen again <laughs> there we go and one piece of basic white cardstock 10 centimeters by 8.3 centimeters and you'll need an embossing folder if you want and a die for the sentiment but we'll do that as we go so you've cut off your diagonal and you can just put that in your scrap paper okay so let's move this aside <clears throat> I, I lied there's one more thing we need to do with our designer series paper and that's cut that diagonally from the top corner to the bottom top left to the bottom right so line those two points up in your trimmer there we go and cut and you've got another piece there to use or make with another card and you've got this one to go here so that's that's to go with your other piece goes in your scrap paper box and use it for another card okay so let's get a silicon mat and a glue so this is a really lovely fun fold to make because it's not complicated at all just a few few scores and a few cuttings diagonal cuttings and you're done So. 
so I always open it up to put my diagonal piece of DSP on because it just helps line it up you can sort of sit whoops sorry head came in you can see what you're doing and with the glue you've got, it's got that little bit of wriggle room there we go <clears throat> I've got to remember to keep my head out of it <laughs> so that's that I will get my bone folder and do, oops do that put my glue back lid back on okay so you could if you wanted to use that piece in there but I'm not sure let me have a think we could look let's maybe let's have a look see what this one looks like see that's quite nice contrasting but it seems such a shame to cover up the daisies <laughs> no you know what I'm going to be out there and we're going to use it this way around so it's going to be a very daisy modified card I've just noticed some glue spurtage get my tissue out for that <clears throat> okay so I am going to do it this way for this card I like the contrast for that one but I'm not so keen on it for this one because when we put our fold I think that's enough dark um, darkness happening so let's do that let's live dangerously <laughs> there we go the weather here today well it is Sunday but I make I pre-record these for my makeup Monday because I'm going to be working every Monday from now on pretty much my day work days are a bit all over the place but when they do settle down I will be doing Monday Tuesday work days so anyway we took our puppy for a lovely walk this morning and then when we got home it was raining but now the clouds have rolled away and it's sunny go figure I complain okay so there we go <clears throat> so that's that bit done now I am going to get my cut emboss machine in and the embossing folder that I forgot to get. And this embossing folder I did carry over and it's called Painted Posies. And it's a really pretty embossing folder. Let's see, see that one? And I hadn't used it so I thought it's time to get it out and give it a use. Grab a cut emboss machine. Now it is a 3D embossing folder, so we don't need these two plates. We need the base plate and the number four plate. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it up to the score line where we want it. Now, where's my other card gone? What did I do with it? There it is. <clears throat> um, now, I put that, I think I put the flowers up a bit high when I put ribbon around. So, I'm going to actually, I could just do it to the score line. And that gives us a space for ribbon and flowers. And I'm just trying to see where I want it. I like it here. Okay, so I've just got the edge of the, um, embossing folder on just below the score line and I'm going to run it through this way normally I do run it through with the spine but because I'm doing it side on it won't matter if I do it this way there we go get that out and that's our embossed card stock. Isn't it pretty? And that, because I've put that down a bit lower, it gives us room for ribbon. So that's that. Now we will get our cutting plates back. <clears throat> because, so we need the base plate, the number two plate, and two threes, the cutting plates. 
because I want to use the stylish shape die, this one. And I need a scrap of white. There we go. And I'm just going to run that through and cut that. So you could use a punch to do your um, sentiment, but I just wanted to use this piece, this um, stylish shape die myself. There we go. So I'll put that there. Put my die back in its packet. And move our cut emboss machine out of the way. Okay. <coughs> now we should bring that back in. I'll bring this in. It's just such a simple card, it really is. Okay, so I'm going to. What we want to do is get a nice score line on our little panel that we're going to insert. And what we're going to do <coughs> is put glue on the back and then slide it in and just eyeball it up and center it like so so let's do that there we go so i think it's easier to do it with your panel like so and you just eyeball it and with the glue you've got got that minute to just wiggle it and get it into place and straighten it up like so and press it down you can then open it up and press it down on the inside and then we've got our little 10 by 8.3 piece of um, cardstock that's going to go in here like so We'll use glue for that. <clears throat> now I don't have any ribbon at the moment that matches this colour combination I've chosen to use. Move over, fraction. There we go. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay. But I do have some retired early espresso ribbon and I am going to grab that. So it just retired, so it should be okay to use retired. <laughs> and if you've got it in your stock, you might as well use it up. <laughs> That's what I say. So I am just going to wrap it around like so. Until I get something that will go with this, this colour combination. And I don't think there is anything much in the um, catalogue coming. There's no early espresso, there's no garden green, and there's no crushed curry. So it's um it's going to be a little bit tricky. Okay, I'm not going to do a bow. I'm just going to tie a knot. <laughs> my ribbon's up on my ribbon rack, so I'm just sort of juggling that as well. Probably got too much. Come on, more fingers and thumbs. There we go. Now I just want to make sure that's nice and tight down here. I did see somebody, and I will do it now, use the tweezers from the embossing kit. Let me just try that. Let's try that again. Hang on. <laughs> so, she did a bow though, but I'm not doing a bow. So she just got the tweezers and held it in place like so, so you don't have to try and fumble with your fingers, which is a good idea. <laughs> and then, but she was making a bow, but it's working perfectly like this. And then she just pulled the tweezers out. So I do like her idea very much. So I've just done that. I'll get 
get my ribbon scissors in. And yes, I do have too much, but that's okay. Now, if you've got retired ribbon, just use it up. Don't feel like you can't use it cause, just because it's retired. Okay. So then I've got my little my little um banner. And I thought I'd put it down here, but maybe I should put it up here. So the flowers can be seen. Maybe that's a good idea. Okay, we'll do that. Now let's have a look and see what words I want. There's a nice happy birthday in this circle thing. I'm looking forward to getting some more new product this week. Okay, now I could do this in early espresso or I could do it in garden green. So let's have a look. Let's do it in garden green. That might be nice. And I'll bring it down low so I don't bring my head in. And the beauty of the photopolymer is that hopefully we can stamp it straight. Yay! <laughs> There's some perfect bling that will go with this. Now, I can put that up here. On dimensionals. Or should I put it down here again? No, I think I will do it up higher because it's got that little bit of blank space. So I'm just going to get some dimensionals. You can use the mini ones. You can use the big ones. I just happen to have the mini ones handy. There we go. Now, get my tacky pick tool. There we go. Get rid of those backs and pop this up here. There we go. Oh, did my head come in? There we go. That's that. Now the other thing I thought I could use to decorate this card and make it pop a little bit are the butterflies. These carried over. Or let me look at the catalogue actually. Did they carry over or did they go into the online store? Let's have a little look. Bling. Think, no, they carried over. Page 140, the brushed brass butterflies, $17.50, carried over. So, I think these are perfect for this card. So, I shall grab a big one. Oh. Well, where did he go? There he is. And we might put him up here. And then a little one down in here and another little one should we put it on the, the on the banner I think so look Denise didn't even have to second guess that it's amazing <laughs> now in this side this one I did put the um irresistible bloom flower I don't think I'll put any flower inside this I think we've got enough flowers going on in the in, in everywhere <laughs> and if you wanted to make your ribbon a little bit shorter just get your scissors and snip that down a bit there we go so the ribbon is retired so so there you go that's a joy fun fold card i hope you like that so the butterflies carried over so they're in the annual catalog and this is the paper that's um the fresh as a daisy paper so i hope you like that really easy fun fold card for today have a go at making them you, you can use hang on you don't have to do an embossing folder here you can do paper you can stamp you can do whatever you like i just really like the embossing folder and it was one i hadn't played with before so i hope you like that and enjoyed that card 
have a great week and i shall see you on friday for card and a cuppa bye for now